Breaking news, my wonderful people. It's happening. Yes, so it's happening. Festus Kiyamu now has um so now you know has put himself in serious trouble because what we see now is that um, Halaji Atiku Abubakar is threatening Buhari to sack Festus Kiyamu from the campaign of Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu. It says the guy is not supposed to be occupying the office of a minister as well as the same time being you know appointed into Tinubu's campaign that how is he able to effectively manage and do what he was supposed to do and he gave an ultimatum following a threat we will see if Buhari will honor it because Atiku seemed to have some Atiku seemed to have some uh some tricks off his sleeves or something he's threatening uh, Buhari by by which he has said Buhari must sack you know uh, Festus Kiyamu or there will be trouble Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Sack Festus Kiyamu now. Atiku tells Buhari, as 2023 campaign takings, or I will reveal all. The 2023 presidential campaign of the People Democratic Party, Alaji Atiku Abubakar, campaign team has re has called for the immediate sack of the Minister of Labor, State for Labor, Festus Kiyamu. Kiyamu, a serving minister in, the, in Nigeria, is currently the spokesperson for Ashiwa Juhamed, Bola Tinubu Campaign Council. Prime Times reports that the spokesperson for the Alaji Atikwa Kowas presidential, Kowas presidential Campaign Council said that Kiyamu should be sacked by the president for allegedly abusing the office that he owes as a minister and also dualizing his purpose. He cannot be a serving minister, at the same time a campaign spokesman. Tinubu knows what to do if Buhari do not adhere to this instruction. Daniel Bawa, while speaking at a press conference in Abuja on Sunday, January the 22nd, reportedly accused Kiyamu of using the privilege and power attached to his office to intimidate the agencies of government. In the past week, Kiyamu has called for the Economic and Financial Crime Commission and other related agencies to launch a probe on Alaji Atiku Abubakar of the People Democratic Party. The Punch reports that he also failed a suit. He filed a suit before a court of jurisdiction against officers of the agencies asking the court to emit, to mandate the EFCC and the ICPC and the Code of Conduct Borough to arrest Atiku over alleged corruption cases after he had issued a 72 hours ultimatum to those organizations. However, in his reaction, Bauer said that PDP's, PDP believes President Muhammad Buhari is committed to a free and fair procedures and should stand for what is right by allowing Festus Kiyamu to step down as a minister, as he cannot dualize on those purposes. We have heard what the president has said, that he's ready for a free and fair election, but he must start that display by letting Festus Kiyamu go. Don't allow them to misuse and to do that which is not right by you. Don't allow PDP, don't allow APC to use you. The people who want to use you and who wants to make sure that your legacy do not stand, do not share in the values of what would make Nigeria a better place. So this is what is happening, my wonderful people. First of Keyamu, you know, uh, is, is in a big trouble. He's speaking for Alaji Atiku Abubakar, and as you can see, every single one of us know exactly what's going on in those regards. Alaji Atiku Abubakar, uh, Festus Kiyamu, uh, Shiwa Ahmed Bola Tinubu, and the rest of them, every single one of them, you know, the Festus Kiyamu is speaking for, for, uh, is speaking for uh, uh, Tinubu today. But this same person once spoke against Tinubu in no small way. So when you begin to wonder, begin to ask yourself, how did we get here? Why so much lies and deceit? All of a sudden, this same person 
cannot see that you know these these people are not uh, the same people he was the one who told us that Tinubu was not fit to rule Lagos State. And he gave reasons why he felt so. He gave reasons why he, why he felt so. Saying, you know, that uh, Tinubu does not, does not qualify. Tinubu did this, Tinubu did that. All of a sudden, Tinubu has become his best friend. Can you see that we really need this change? Can you see that every single one of us must rise up to the occasion and nobody should sit back there thinking that things are just going to suddenly jump and they will fall in place. No, no. It is, it is what it is. It is what it is. And it is um, at a high time that we all begin to ensure that we do not allow the same thing over and over again. Alaji Atiku Abubaka, Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu. Honestly, I will beg Nigerians, don't get involved in their, in their whole uh, election thing and their crossfire. Don't get involved. Let them discuss their thing. At the end of the day, you will know what is right. At the end of the day, you know what is right and you will vote for the right candidate. So don't allow politicians use you. Very important. Politicians are politicians. Bottom line is that they are fighting for themselves. They are looking out for their political relevance. Not because uh, you, you, you are not part of the equation. If you think you are part of the equation, you think very highly of yourself. If you sincerely think that you are part of the equation, you think very highly of yourself. You think they, if they you think if they are really in concern of Nigerians, Nigeria would have been the way it is today. Don't you know that they all would have been working together as one people, one entity, to ensure that you know the country is better. Every one of them that had opportunity to rule in a state. How are those states like? How are those states like? So why should we trust them again and commit more to their hands? So we cannot allow the same thing to hold us down. If things are going to change, if every one of us is going to get some benefit out of it, then everybody must work at it. Nobody must sit back there and think that some people will work at it. No, nobody does that for anybody. We do it ourselves. Yes, we do it ourselves. So these are the very serious issues now on ground. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Have a lovely and a fantastic day. From us, it's bye for now. Bye-bye.